Assalamualaikum and hi. Our group will be presenting about cellulose digestion and absorption. Cellulose, as we know it, cannot be digested by human, although our digestive system is resembling more of a herbivore rather than carnivore or even omnivore, as we have grinding teeth and very long intestines. We cannot digest it since we don't have the microbes that secrete the enzyme cellulose. For example, termites, which generally eats woods, have the Trichonifa species which produce enzymes that can digest cellulose which is called termites microbe symbiosis in the digestive system. These microbes that are found abundantly in termites helps in breaking down the fiber and cellulose, their hosts which are termites eat. Every plant cell wall almost all contains cellulose which consists of thousands of structurally alternating units of glucose. This configuration gives strength for the cell wall but prevent human to digest it. Cellulose fiber actually constitutes essential elements for the human body. It can actually reduce the percentage of cholesterol absorption, thus reducing the rate of heart disease and also help in diabetes control. Human can digest about 38 grams of soluble fiber per day. The other type of fiber which constitutes the majority of fiber passes through the digestive system without any nutritional value. We're going to see what is cellulose and what does cellulose look alike? Let me see into the plant cell. Plant cell wall is made up of cellulose. Cellulose provides structural support and insulation to the plant cell. Cellulose is a polysaccharide that made up of D-glucose. Let me see the structure of the cellulose. Cellulose are made up from glucose subunit by beta-1,4 glycosidic bond. Cellulose is a straight chain polymer. No coiling or branching occurs. Cellulose are insoluble. The major sources of cellulose are plant fibers. Let me see the example of plant fibers. Cotton, wood, and so on. Cellulose acts as a insoluble fiber which can absorb water thus increase bulk of the stool. Food high in cellulose which include cereals, fruit, leafy vegetables and so on. Now let me see how the cellulose been digested in ruminants and rodents. Firstly, we will talk about how rodents digest cellulose. Didn't you all curious? But before we look how the cellulose digestion for rodent, do you know what rodent is? Rodents actually are mammals with extra large front teeth or incisors. Most of non-flying mammals are rodents. All rodents share a common features which are they have a single pair of incisors in each jaw and the incisors grow continually through life. Most rodents are herbivorous but some are omnivorous and others prey on insects. There are two main groups of rodents which are squirrel-like rodents and mouse-like rodents and cavy-like rodents. Squirrel-like rodents and mouse-like rodents include grey squirrel, dome mouse, and golden hamster. Cavy-like rodents include guinea pig, porcupines, and capybara. Now, let's see how rodents ingest their meal. First, rodents will eat food that contain a lot of cellulose. Then, the food travels down the esophagus to the stomach where acid and enzymes start to break it down. From the stomach, it moves to the small intestine which contain a lot of protein, sugar and starch. Then fermentation occurs at cecum which is a chamber between large and small intestine. It contains a lot of protozoa, bacteria and yeast. Examples of bacteria involved are protobacteria and bacteriodates.
which secrete cellulase. The cecum absorbs some of the nutrient but not completely. The food removes as a dropping from the colon to the anus. For second digestion, the rodent will consume the sesotrop as soon as they expel it. The sesotrop will travel through the entire digestive system for the second time to obtain all nutrition and lead to the formation of harder and drier feces. You have understand the pathway of cellulose digestion in rodent. Now, let's move on to the ruminant. Before we explore how this ruminant will break down cellulose into energy, do you know what is actually ruminant? Ruminant is mammals that ever require nutrient from plant-based by fermentation of microbial action in specialized stomach. It comes from Latin word ruminare which means to chew over again. This refers to the cut chewing behavior. Ruminant can be divided into three categories, which are the grazers like cattle, sheep that consume lower quality of grass, the browsers which consume highly nutritious twig and shrub in the wood such as moose and mule deer. Lastly, the intermediate. Before we take an overview of how their digestive system works, let's know what are the Four stomach of rumen. First, rumen, or called pouch, because it is the largest compartment in the abdomen of rumen. Second, reticulum, that looks like honeycomb. Third, omasum, or also called as many plies. And last one, abomasum. Okay, now mid city, our model for today. All started when she grazed the delicious grass and chew it. The food become cut and travel to the first stomach, which is rumen, before entering the reticulum part that looked like honeycomb. At rumen is where the cellulose being broken down, but we will discuss further after this. From the reticulum, the food Polis goes back to the mouth to be regurgitated, or in short, we call chewing her cut. This helps the cow to digest the food that we human cannot digest, like haze and shrub. She now swallows the cut back that has been fragmented into smaller pieces for nutrient absorption and further digestion in omasum and abomasum. The omasum absorbs nutrient and water, while abomasum contains enzymes that are quite similar to human stomach, which can digest protein. Now, let us take a look at the example of microorganism in rumen of ruminant. In rumen, there are lots of microbes live together, including bacteria, fungi, and protozoa. All these microbes live symbiotically in rumen and help in digesting cellulose. Bacteria in rumen can be classified into three groups, which are fiber digesting or cellulitic bacteria, starch and sugar digesting bacteria or amylolytic bacteria, and lactate using bacteria also present. Among these bacteria, Fiber digesting cellulose is the one who help in cellulose breakdown process in rumen. Example include Ruminococcus plepaciens and Ruminococcus albus. It is time for us to look at how cellulose digestion is actually occurred. Cellulose digestion involves cellulose breakdown in which beta 1 for linkage in broken down is in this reaction. Beta 1 for glycosidic bond is hydrolysis and glucose is released in this reaction. What we showed before is actually the overview of the process of cellulose breakdown, but what actually involved in this reaction is more complicated. Now, let Let's take a look in detail how cellulose is actually broken down in cellulose system. A cellulose enzyme system consists of three major components. 
One of the major components is endoglucanase. This enzyme is active on more soluble amorphous region of cellulose crystal. Another component is exoglucanase, which is active on the crystalline region of cellulose. Finally, beta-glucosidase is also one of the components that help in hydrolysis of cellulobios. Before we go into the detail of the cellulose breakdown process, let's have some glossary check. What is cellulobios actually? Cellulobios is actually part of cellulose but it consists of two beta-glucose molecules which make up a disaccharide. Now, let's discuss about step involved in cellulose digestion process. Firstly, cellulose digestion process involves the action of endoglucanase, which help in breaking of the non-covalent interaction present in the structure of cellulose, breaking of internal bond. It also helps to disrupt the crystalline structure of cellulose to an amorphous strength. Now, the individual cellulose polysaccharide unit is being exposed for the next enzymatic action. Next, exoglucanase help in hydrolysis of the chain and to break the polymer into simple sugar. It involves the cleaving of 2 to 4 units from the end of the exposed chain produced by the endocellulase. Finally, beta-glucosidase will help to facilitate the hydrolysis of cellulobios from the action of exoglucanase into glucose subunit. Now, the cellulose is completely broken down into glucose. There are actually two types of cellulose system which are non-complex cellular system and complex cellular system. Non-complex cellular system involve aerobic degradation of cellulose in which oxygen is present. It involve a mixture of extracellular cooperative enzyme. The enzyme are separate and work in concert to break down the cellular strand into cellulobios and glucose. Meanwhile, Complex cellulose system involve anaerobic degradation of cellulose in which oxygen is absent. This require cellulosome. In the system, enzyme is a multi-protein complex and caught on the surface of bacterium by non-catalytic proteins. Glucose or cellulobios are also formed from the system. Hence, both of the system will result in the same product. Let's talk about cellulosome. Cellulosome is designed for efficient degradation of cellulose. It consists of four major components which are scaffolding, cohesion modules, dockering modules, and catalytic subunit. Firstly, scaffolding subunit contains a single cellulose binding module together with numerous cohesion molecules. Cohesion binding unit help to anchor the unit to cellulose. Next, let's talk about cohesion molecules. Cohesion molecules is the major building block within the scaffolding. It binds strongly to docrine module borne by each cellulomal enzyme. It also helps in organizing the cellulitic subunit into multi-enzyme complex. Apart from that, another major component of cellulose, which is docrine module, helps in anchoring the catalytic enzyme to scaffolding. Lastly, catalytic subunit contain docrine modules, which will actually serve to incorporate catalytic modules into the cellulosome complex. The discovery of cellulosome is actually helped to explain that how cellulitic bacteria adhere tightly to plant material. It also explains that why their enzymatic cellulose activity occur on surface. Now, let's talk back about cellulose digestion and absorption in rumen. In rumen of ruminant, most of the bacteria that live in rumen are anaerobic and hence 
the complex cellular system is more likely to occur in which cellulosome is needed in the reaction. For absorption of cellulose, the glucose formed from the digestion of cellulose is actually not being absorbed by the cell of ruminants. However, the microbe in the rumen will carry out fermentation and convert the glucose form into short chain fatty acid. The ruminant actually take up the acid formed by the fermentation process, process rather than the glucose form from cellulose breakdown. For the conclusion, Ruminants and also rodents' digestive system, although not that efficient as human does, can actually digest cellulose because their digestive system is somewhat unique. The ruminants have four chambers for digestion and microbes that aid in the digestion of cellulose. Chromites, for example, have a very unique symbiotic relationship with microbes, such as Reconifer species, as it can produce cellulose for the digestion of cellulose. Although cellulose generally cannot be digested, Cellulose is nonetheless is very important for human diet. Cellulose forms a major part on human diet because the dietary fiber in it is important for proper digestion. Since human cannot digest it, it just passes through the system unchanged, and by this, it acts it acts as what we call bulk or roughage that helps in the movement for our intestines. In a nutshell, we must study more about cellulose digestion, as it is very important not just for animals but also for human digestion.